in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a feature that is unique to Sunray rods. It's a trick that instructors have used for a long time, but it's never really been made uh, available to the public. What is it? Okay. When we make this back cast and make our stop, now look at the line at the top third of the rod. It's actually touching the rod if we've got it on the central position. And what does that do? Well, when the line's wet, it creates line stick and it prevents the line flying through the guides easily. Now let's turn the guides. What does it do? Well, I'm a right-handed caster, so I'm gonna turn it to the right. Now let's have a look. There's the back cast. Now look at the top third of the rod. The line is not touching the blank. It's offset to the side. It's a small detail which can have good results. It creates a real sort of connection with the line. It stops the friction in the guides and it makes things like distance and hauling and accuracy much better. It also increases the feel of the rod and the enjoyment of the cast. It's a tiny detail, but it's one that we've built into the fly rods. It's hard to communicate through camera. It's a very sort of touchy feely thing, but I really feel a more direct connection with the line. Because the guides are offset to the side and they're not touching the blank, the line isn't touching the blank, it's really, it's like a seesaw. It's a more direct connection with the fly line. There's less friction, there's less sort of vibration in the rod. Everything just feels smoother. Combine that with the short head, weight forward fly line with very thin running line, decreasing friction even more, and then adding line slick, which decreases friction more again. You've got a really, really smooth casting outfit. Perfect for the double haul. <laughs> Great. It's a detail that professional instructors have sort of kept secret for a long time, but we at Sunray, we've built it into the actual design of the fly rod. Offset alignment guides.